All right, you know what? I decided to start it over here because I was like, you know what? Fuck you. I'm in the gym right now. Today is not an easy day. Today is abs and I'm doing cardio. I'm gonna be killing myself pretty much. And I probably titled the video this because it's a pretty big deal. At least to me, to you guys, it's probably like nothing. You're probably like, okay, what the fuck? It doesn't mean shit. I actually lost 10 pounds in a month. I wanna reach to 140. I wanna maintain that weight. It's only five pounds away. I just have to keep working. I have to keep going to the gym, being consistent, and eating right. But I'll talk more about that after the workout. So I'm actually taking a break right now because as I'm running, I feel something in my calf. And obviously, I don't want to injure myself. I took the necessary precautions and I stretched. The last time I was supposed to run, I couldn't. Because obviously, I was sick, like I said in the last video. I was throwing up and shit. So I didn't come to the gym for two days. So maybe my body was put in a routine. And then just one little day can fuck up the whole system. Which I'm slowly learning. I'm almost at two miles. I'm at 1.60. I've been going at a five mile per hour speed. I've been running for, let's see, how long have I been running? 22 minutes. I know it's not the ideal because I know usually like a mile is like eight minutes I'm not trying to like have a certain mile time i'm just trying to run at a decent pace for a decent amount of distance i had to end that early because i was right under two miles i was like at one point 90. My calf is really hurting and I don't want to force myself to run. How the risk of injuring myself because if I injure myself, I can't work out at all, especially on the calf. Oh, I kind of need my legs. Maybe I just needed to stretch a bit differently, but my calf is not happy with me right now. Okay, I just got out of the shower, finished the workout. Now it's time to tell you guys what I was trying to tell you guys earlier. I kind of prolonged it, so here it is. Like I said before, I lost 10 pounds within a month. Now, to some people, that may be very easy. To some people, that may be very hard. Me personally, I didn't know because I never really tried to lose weight like that. Like, I've been to the gym. Gym. I never actually did a calorie deficit. I never actually properly watched what I ate from measurements to all that shit. So to be honest, I'm honestly seeing the results because I'm on a calorie deficit. I'm allowed about like 1700 calories a day and I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure for a male it's like 2000 something. But the key is that I'm not starving myself. I'm eating the proper things, fruits, vegetables, all that to keep myself energized, to keep my body going. One thing that has helped me the most and I recommend it to you guys a lot. Honestly, without the app, I would not have done what I have done. It's called My Fitness Pal. It will literally track everything that you eat you set your goal you set it for the time if you weigh 200 you want to weigh 190 and you want to lose five pounds a month right you could set all that specifically you can choose whatever the fuck you want to do and it'll give you the amount of calories you need and not just the calories it'll show you the amount of sodium you can intake the amount of fat you can intake and the way it tracks it you have to actually log in the food yourself so they call it a diary and every day you log in your food it makes you feel guilty about logging in like wendy's like if you fucking eat a wendy's burger you're gonna see all the shit that it tells you because it's gonna show up in like yellow under it be like this is high in fat blah, blah blah i think also the important part was just because it fits in the criteria doesn't mean i eat it. so technically with the amount of fat that i'm allowed and sodium blah, blah 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 i can have let's say like one burrito from taco bell every day that's shitty food so don't do that to yourself if you are considering do that doing that just because it fits you properly I, I honestly have seen throughout my body as well i just feel a lot better a lot more energized i feel just a lot better as a as a human so again that app is huge my fitness pal I'm pretty sure it's pretty popular because next to the ratings it has a decent amount of ratings and all and that has helped me a lot there's also like a premium subscription which i don't have because i'm not trying to pay that shit to be honest like i just need the bare necessity i've just been eating really healthy also going to the gym a lot you could also log in your exercises as well this sounds so sponsored but it, it, how, how the fuck can it be sponsored do you see the size of my channel anyway you can log in your exercises as well from running to everything sometimes your exercise or the food that you have like the brand may not pop up so they have things called like quick add you know the calories at least you can just add the calories Obviously, it's not as effective because it won't tell you the amount of protein in it and all that it Also counts your steps too. The more steps you do the more you're allowed on your calorie thing And then the more you can kind of eat I guess but you still have to eat healthy and Honestly a feature that I've used a lot. They have a thing called scan barcode So sometimes like typing it in is just too long. It won't it won't really work you scan that fucking barcode on whatever the fuck you're eating I say eight out of ten times it will show up. sometimes things are just specific like a lower brand or whatever And just might not be there. They do have a thing called generic. So it's like just and all around what that might be. This sounds, again, really sponsored, but it's not. I just want to help you guys out because I've seen it be very useful for myself and I think it could be useful to a lot of other people as well. So again, the goal is 140. I weigh at 145. I was at 155 earlier in the month or last month and that was the heaviest I've ever been. And you're probably like, heavy, 155. For me, it's different, all right? Everyone's body's different. 155 was the heaviest I've been and I could see it too. So I did some calculations to reach a certain body fat percentage. I need to be down at 140. I don't need to be down, but I would like to be down at 140. So 
140 is the goal and then possibly maintaining want to live a little bit i haven't had any fast food in like a month and a half i've been eating good but i'm a little tired of, of trying to measure how everything all right i've been doing this for a whole like month month and a half all right i just want a little break you know i was about to record this outro but at the same time i realized that i've been doing youtube for a year and i wanted to talk about that, that is insane to me that i've already been doing this for a year monday wednesday friday and now it's just monday and friday but i have some conversations with some of you guys that have commented on my videos and you guys showing the love and support that you guys do on a weekly basis just forever grateful for it i'm forever just thankful honestly you guys are just fucking dope all right and i can't thank you guys enough because this is my dream i love doing this i really do and who knows where we go from here but you guys have just been fucking killing it and i can only thank you guys so much but enough of the soft shit okay you know soft shit transitioning okay we're gonna have to outro this video because it's late i still gotta edit i still gotta do all that fancy shiz anyways guys i hope you guys enjoyed today's video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share the channel because it helps me out tremendously and this is monday friday this is Friday, so I'll talk to you guys back on Monday and peace out everyone